Ma, I told you, I'm very busy right now. But I was being exposed at a very early age to the really totally dark side, and outside of the occult world that most people are don't even want to think about. I woke up one night, no, the night, and I went totally ballistic. When I woke up, there was an entity in the room, and it was I cannot tell you how evil the presence was to my spirit. I. Whatever it was that was in my room was so profoundly evil. So uh, I started having, uh, for a lack of a better term, other world experiences uh, at a very early age. Going out of my body, that was a whole off-the-wall experience, too, at eight years old, nine years old. One night when I was a small child, my dog woke up at about five o'clock in the morning. I woke up, my dog was... Uh, howling and, and barking and, of course, waking up the neighborhood. And my dad yelled, uh, go quiet that dog. And I, I knew that there was something bad because the dog was going uh, out of its mind. And mm-hmm. So I ran out to the back porch, and I'm telling you, the dog had um, cornered uh, between the, uh, my backyard fence and, the, and, and my dad's garage. <clears throat> it had cornered. Uh, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a little small, about two foot high, or I would estimate about two foot high, full developed dinosaur. Uh, I actually, with my own eyes, saw six pterodactyls in Los Angeles back in 19, uh, I would say probably 1980, 81. Listen, uh, um, I can't talk now. I'm on the phone. Mary Hartman. And it was a huge pterodactyl. It, it was enormous.